Uh, Shalom, Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lech out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, and sturdy. Uh, this will be a short segment of uh, Great Millstone Health Topics, uh, episode two. You know, pretty much I just wanted to uh, touch real briefly on um, sicknesses. You know, so this is uh, the book of uh, Sirach 38 and 9. My son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. And, you know, I wanted to bring that out because, you know, you can't forget the importance of prayer to when it comes to healing, you know, uh, sicknesses and infirmities. You know, we have many different herbs and different uh, methodologies, you know, that brothers may use to overcome, uh, you know, certain ailments or infirmities or common cold and flu-like symptoms and stuff like that. But more importantly, it's always about the word of the Lord that gets us through, you know. And uh, this scripture will prove that. This is uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. So it's about the word of the Lord, Yahweh Yahushua, when you put in that prayer of Tom that the Lord had the angels put, you know, the strength into those herbs or that formula, whatever you're using, you know, to get over your common colds, your flus, your sicknesses, your infirmities and stuff like that. So, you know, that's how things are all done. And also on another aspect, you know, brothers gotta remember when you actually having uh, so-called cold and flu-like symptoms, you're not actually sick. Your body was already sick, but it kicked up detoxification symptoms by you know, your body just saying, all right, I had enough. I can't take no more. I got to get this stuff up out of me. Therefore, you produce those uh, symptoms, you know, uh, sinuses, running nose, sneezing, coughing, so on and so forth, you know, from the accumulation of different toxins in the air, toxins in the food, you know, the GMOs, things that we put on our skin, so on and so forth. And that builds up to a point where, you know, the body has to get rid of it. And, you know, and that's why, you know, Whenever you're going through those certain cold and flu-like symptoms, it's a detoxification process, so you have to help the body to spew that out of you. You know, by doing heavy uh, herbal teas, you know, teas for the blood, the lymphatic system, which is very important, which is uh, the body's immune system that goes hand in hand with uh, the colon, you know, that gets rid of uh, metabolic waste in the kidneys in which the lymphatic system filters through. So those three combinations you know, you definitely want to tackle herbs for the blood, herbs for the lymphatic system, and herbs for the kidneys, because the kidneys help to filter all of that uh, waste up out of you. And with the lymphatic system, you know, we have the checkpoints, which are the lymph nodes. You know, you have them here, you have them in your armpits, you have them in your chest, you have them in your groin area, your stomach, you have them all over your body. So if the body traps up all of these microorganisms there, and it has to be filtered all through the kidneys. That's why kidney filtration is so important. You know, and also you want to stay heavy upon, you know, uh, the fruits and the astringent fruits, you know, your different berries, your melons and stuff like that, you know, to help filter it and clean all that out because berries are real cleansing into the blood and real purifying on the alkaline uh, base, you know, so you want to stay heavy on those things and continue the detoxification process so that your body can be whole again, but that all happens through, first and foremost, the prayer to the Most High. You know, so I hope this short segment was edifying. I'm ready to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahusha, the Bwanas, to the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Lech out there, doing this work of faith, and live with love, truth, and sincerity. Shalom.